Clifford, my big red dog. Clifford needed Emily, so she chose him for her own. And her love made Clifford grow so big that the Howards had to leave their home. Clifford's the best friend anyone could know. He's the greatest dog ever. I really think so. Clifford's so loyal. Clifford. He's there when you call. I love Clifford, the big red dog. So they packed up the family car. And the Howards left the city. They moved to Birdwell Island and their many new friends. There to greet Clifford and Emily. Clifford's so much fun, he's a friend to us all. I love Clifford, the big red dog. <laughs> Ooh. Circus Stars Favorite stars, Clifford? <laughs> I thought so. Emily! There's Charlie. I wonder if he knows the circus is in town. Wow. Your own poster of Gordo the Great. He really is the greatest. He's just an elephant with a cape. He's not just an elephant. He's the greatest elephant ever. What makes him so special? He can walk on his front legs and lift a ton, and he's been everywhere in the entire world. Wow, wouldn't it be great to actually meet him? Meet Gordo? Clifford! Hmm? <gasps> Charlie says the circus camp is at Birdwell Park. Yeah, and if we hurry, we can watch them set up the big tent. There it is! Huh? What's going on? Not much, it looks like. <laughs> what was that? Let's go see! Dr. Din, what are you doing here? Is one of the animals sick? I'm afraid so. Gordo the elephant has a terrible cold. Oh no, he's the star of the show. Will he be okay? With medicine and a little rest, he'll be just fine. But there won't be any circus tonight. What? what? Oh hmm. no. I'm afraid Dr. Din is right. Gordo's the only one big and strong enough to raise our big top tent. No tent, no circus. Clifford could raise the tent. Who's Clifford? Clifford is my big red dog. Wow, he is big. Yeah, and he's really strong, too. Do you think he'd like to help us out? I think he'd love to. Let's put up a circus. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for a job well done.
brother Clifford. He's almost as big as you are. <laughs> and he sneezes just like you, too. Oh. Come on over, you guys. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Gordo. I'm Clifford, and these are my friends T-Bone and Cleo. Clifford says he's your biggest fan. I can see that. We're sorry you don't feel so well, Mr. Gordo. Oh, I'll be okay. I just wanted to thank you, Clifford, for helping set up the circus tent. We all helped. <laughs> <laughs> Well then, thank you all. But I wonder if you could do me another favor, Clifford? Sure, Mr. Gordo, anything. Well, we usually do a big finale every night, and I do some things with Boomer. The clowns goof around and the acrobats do some tricks. <laughs> <laughs> Would you mind <laughs> doing the act? <laughs> for me uh, uh, tonight. Me? Well, sure, I'd love to. <laughs> wow, Clifford's gonna be in the circus. You lucky dog, you. Gee, Cleo and T-Bone really love the circus too. Can they be in the show with me? <laughs> well, okay. Why don't you all perform tonight? Yeah! That would be great, Mr. Gordo. <laughs> <laughs> Boomer will show you all what to do. Oh, and one more thing, Clifford. Yes, Mr. Gordo? Uh, just call me plain old Gordo, okay? <laughs> Circus Clifford! It's my dream come true, T-Bone. This is gonna be the best circus Birdwell Island has ever seen. It's almost time for our big finale, guys. You really practiced hard, Clifford. You're gonna be great. Hey there, Clifford. Hey, Gordo. You're up. Yep, Dr. Den says I'm completely recovered. Yeah, woo! That's great. <laughs> so I can go on with the show after all. <laughs> Not so loud, big guy. Gordo can't wait to do the finale with you and T-Bone, Cleo. Hey, what about Clifford? He worked hard to learn the act. It's okay, Cleo. I love just learning the stuff. You mean Clifford doesn't get to perform? But that's not fair. You wanted to be in the circus more than anybody. That's right. So, if Clifford doesn't go on, we don't go on. Right. Well, well, you certainly do have loyal friends, Clifford. Yeah, but it's really okay. No, they're right. And I was really looking forward to performing with them. With all of you, really. <laughs> Oops. You mean all this time you were going to let Clifford perform with you? That was the plan. Well then, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Yeah! Let's go! Ladies and gentlemen, 
Presenting the astounding, the amazing, Gordo the Great and Clifford the Big Red Dog! <laughs> Look at Clifford! Isn't he great? This is one of the most exciting days in my whole entire life. Me too, Clifford. You know, everything is more fun when you do it with good friends. Story, don't you? <laughs> I thought so. He's your favorite. Today's story is Speckle and the Little Big Snack. One day, Speckle headed for the kitchen to make a snack. He started with two big slices of pumpernickel bread and some cheese. Then he added some lettuce and tomatoes and pickles and more cheese and green olives and black olives and red olives and everything else he could find in the refrigerator until Speckle had created the biggest sandwich in the whole wide world. A huge, colossal, enormous, way too big to get in your mouth kind of sandwich. Speckle tried every which way to eat his beautiful sandwich until he finally realized that the best way to enjoy such a big snack was to share it. So Speckle invited his friends over, and together they shared the best big sandwich in the whole wide world. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? <laughs> Light Fright. Figures the ferry would be late this morning. Nothing's ever fast enough when you're waiting for a surprise.
great. Oh, awesome. Wonderful. <laughs> wow. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, wasn't that great? Did you see that dog? Did you hear that applause, guys? They love me. Look, Charlie. There it is. Thanks. It's my surprise for my father. He sent away to Jamaica for something, but I don't know what. Hurry and open it, Charlie. <laughs> wow, it's incredible. A steel drum. Your dad knew how much you wanted one. Wait till you hear how it sounds. You kids are just wonderful. When's your next show? Huh? We're not really doing a show. But you're so talented, and your dogs are too. You really must do another show. Well, what do you think, Charlie? <laughs> Sounds like fun. Okay. Wonderful! They love me. So, you like the gift. Hey, Charlie. It's unbelievable. He's not the only one who likes it, Samuel. Everyone does. That's why we want to do this show, Dad. To give everyone a chance to hear it. This show is really going to be fun. Yeah, I can't wait. Me neither. I just love to dance. So let the show begin. Whoa! <laughs> And now, presenting the Big Red Show! And now, Cleo the Dancing Dog! Ta-da! You kids were fantastic today. Thanks, Dad. It's fun making your own music, isn't it? It's great. Yeah, but what happened to Cleo? I think she got stage fright or something. I know, it was weird. What should we do? We want to do another show this afternoon. It seems like Cleo really loves to dance. I bet she finds a way to work it all out, huh? Hey, Cleo, come help me. I'm covering Clifford in sand. No, thanks. I don't really feel like playing. What? Quit joking, Cleo. Want to do something else, Cleo? Not really. Want to practice your part for the show? Emily says we might do another one this afternoon. No! Um, I don't need practice. I know what I'm supposed to do. So how come you didn't do it this morning, Cleo? Oh, that! Well, the uh, sun was in my eyes, and uh, I got a splinter in my foot, and uh, a bug flew into my mouth. Oh. Well, I just love the way you do that dance thing. La, 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 da, woo! Oh. <laughs> nice moves, T-Bone. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You know, Cleo, we don't have to be a part of the show if you don't want to. Emily and Charlie would be great all by themselves. Of course I want to be a part of the show. I'm the best part. You're great. You really are good. You're right. I'm going to do it, Clifford. I have to. It just wouldn't be as good without me. 
I hope Cleo's gonna be okay this afternoon. I hope so too. She looks so cute when she dances. Think Cleo's gonna dance this afternoon, Clifford? Sure, she'll be fine. Uh, see you later, guys. I'm going home. What? Please don't go, Cleo. Everyone loves it when you dance. Cleo, are you afraid to do the show? Well, not afraid exactly. More like totally terrified. Why? Uh, I don't know. There's just so many people out there. I mean, I didn't even notice the people when we were just having fun playing music and dancing at the dock. But now they're all just sitting out there waiting for me. What if they don't like me? What if I forget how to dance? They're gonna like you, Cleo, no matter what you do. Besides, you love to dance. You said so yourself. You're not gonna forget. Remember dancing on the ferry dock? It was so much fun. It was, wasn't it? And everyone loved you. They did, didn't they? So what do you say? Want to go out there and dance? We're all here for you. Presenting the Big Red Show! Dancing Dog! <gasps> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And now, Cleo the Dancing Dog! Think she'll ever stop, Clifford? She's got to get tired sometime. Let me help you with that. Thanks, T. Thanks, guys. That was really a terrific show we all did, wasn't it? Yeah. Too bad Cleo doesn't know that it's over. <laughs> she knows it's over now. <laughs> Come on, Emily. Let's take these tablecloths back inside the shack. Oh, Clifford. Today was so much fun. And I think everyone really liked my dancing. Of course they did, Cleo. It's fun to watch someone doing something they really love. Thank you guys for being there with me. It really helped to see your smiling faces backstage. No problem, Cleo. That's what friends are for. why Clifford's big idea for today is play fair. Hurry, T-Bone, my turn is next. Okay, Cleo. I'm next, I'm next, I'm next, and then it's Max's turn. Okay, Cleo, your turn. Oh, boy. Hey. Whoa. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't fair. You're right, we're supposed to take turns. That's the fair way to play. Oops, sorry. It's your turn, Cleo. <laughs> Thanks, Mac. 
You're welcome. Playing fair makes playing fun. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is play fair. dog lived here? Oh, we're just here on vacation. Hiya, Casey. I'm T-Bone, and this is Cleo. We're on our way to meet Clifford. Who's Clifford? He's our friend. He's great. Would you like to meet him? Sure. I'll come out. He sounds nice. Oh, huh? my gosh. He's only got three legs! What are you guys gonna do today? Huh? Well, we may go to the beach. Really? I've never been to the beach. What do you do there? Uh, oh well, we run around. But we don't have to. Run, that is. Oh, running's fun. What else? There you guys are! Clifford! Clifford. Wow! You're the biggest dog I've ever seen! Yep, I'm pretty big, all right. Who are you? My name's KC. Cleo and T-Bone invited me to play with you guys at the beach. Great! I've never been to a beach. Oh, you're gonna love it. We run and jump around and chase stuff. Oh, great! I'll go get my ball. What a nice guy. He's only got three legs, Clifford. Oh, my gosh. What should we do, Clifford? He wants to play with us. So, let's play. Mm, I don't know. We just have to remember that KC probably can't do most of the stuff we can do, so we have to look out for him. Yo, guys, let's go! We better hurry so we can help KC cross the street. <laughs> I'm hurrying as fast as I can. I'll meet you guys at the corner. 
You can slow down if you want to. I don't really want to catch up. Why not? I don't know. It's just, what if he's got a disease or something? And he wants to play tag. Huh? What if he's got some kind of leg losing disease that he got from some terrible germ and when he touches us, we get the germ and catch the leg losing disease and... I don't think that could happen, Cleo. Do you? I don't know, but I think we better be careful. We have to wait for the cars to pass. I know. Thanks, Clifford. Looks clear now. Let's cross. Make sure the cars stop. <laughs> you don't have to do that, Clifford. There are no cars. Well, this can be a hard street to cross. Do you have trouble crossing it? Well, no. Huh. How about you, T-Bone? Huh? M me? W well, see, what, what happened was, um... Friend, huh, Clifford? He sure is friendly. <laughs> Hello there, boy. Have fun, guys. <gasps> is that the beach? <laughs> Yahoo! KC, wait. The sand is kind of hard to run on. Cleo, did you see Charlie petting KC? I sure did. It's like he hardly even noticed that he's only got three legs. Yeah. I hope he didn't pick up any leg-losing germs. It looks okay to me. Hey, KC, let's go over to the park. It's got nice, soft grass. Oh, uh, no thanks, Clifford. I want to play on the beach. I think you're wrong about this germ thing, Cleo. I mean, I caught the ball and I feel fine. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> Toss it here, Cleo! Um, ever seen a lighthouse, Casey? Wow, that's... it's beautiful. I want to see it up close. How do we get up there? Gee, Casey, Rocky Point's kind of hard to climb. Oh, is it too hard for you? Well, no. Then come on! <laughs> the last one to Rocky Point is a rotten dog, Biscuit! <laughs> Careful, Casey! Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Hey, Clifford, I think T-Bone needs some help. He'll be okay. He's been up here lots of times. Wow. That's a high one. Let me help. No, 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 Clifford. I can do it. No. Ow! T-Bone? Whoa! whoa, whoa. <clears throat> KC, 
JC, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. But what were you trying to do, Clifford? I was just trying to help. Did I ask for help? Well, no, but then why did you? Because you only have three legs. I do? Oh my gosh, you're right, T-Bone. Where's the other one? Huh? huh? <laughs> oh, <laughs> gotcha. Sorry, guys. I was just kidding. I must have just left it on the ferry. Huh? huh? <laughs> gotcha again. <sighs> but I was wondering how long it would take before somebody mentioned my leg. <laughs> After all, you've been staring at it all day. Huh? I, I uh, I... sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I'm used to it. I know it probably looks strange to you, but I'm still a dog, and I like to do the same things any dog does. I know. You can catch a ball better than I can. I can do most things the same as everyone else. I really like doing things for myself. Sorry, Casey. I know that. Now. But I do need help sometimes. When I do, Clifford, you're definitely the guy I'm gonna ask. Deal? Deal. And you, Cleo? You've been avoiding me like I had a disease or something. You don't? Nah. The thing is, I'm just looking for some friends. Same as anyone else. And I'd really like to be friends with you guys. I'd like to be your friend too, Casey. Me too. Yeah, me too. Hey, thanks, guys. Now, I'd really like to see what's at the top of that lighthouse. Hey, Clifford, can you give me a lift? Are the stairs too hard for you to climb? Nah, but why climb when I can take the elevator? <laughs> right. Yeah! Here we go! <laughs> wow! What a view! <sighs> Thanks, Clifford! Oh. Oh. Story, don't you? <laughs> I thought so. He's your favorite. Today's story is Speckle and the Old Wagon. One day when Speckle and his friends were playing, Speckle saw something behind a tree. They gathered sponges and buckets of soapy water and went to work. Now it was time to paint the wagon. Robbie wanted to paint it purple, but Luna wanted pea green. Reba's favorite color was blue. And Darnell liked bright red. Speckle wanted everyone to be happy. So together they painted it all the colors of the rainbow. Then off they went down the grassy hill in their wonderful rainbow wagon. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? <laughs>
lucky dog. I've never seen a bone so big. Are you gonna bury it, Clifford? Sure am. Wanna help? Okay. Yeah! Let's go! There you are. The best fish and chips on Birdwell Island. Looks like we might get a storm this afternoon. Hey, Samuel. I asked for a fish sandwich, not a sand sandwich. What is going on here? Clifford! <laughs> Clifford! Clifford! Huh? Clifford! You can't dig here, boy. You're getting sand in everyone's food. Go do it somewhere else, please. Hmm? That dog sure likes to dig. Now this is a perfect place to bury your bone, Clifford. Yeah, and you don't even have to dig. The hole's already here. It's like it was meant to be. Yeah, it's a nice hole, but not deep enough. Here, take this. I'm gonna make it deeper. Wow, he's good. Yeah, he's a natural. Okay, now my bone ought to fit just right. Yeah, this tree is gonna look great. Seems a little short. Hmm, how did this hole get so deep? There's your answer. <sighs> Clifford, did you do this? <laughs> That was not a good thing to do. <sighs> the hole we started here was for our tree, not for your bone. We wanted to get it in the ground before the rain starts. Clifford, if you must dig, go and do it someplace else, please. <laughs> okay, okay, I know you're sorry. Now take your bone and go. Early today, class. A storm is on the way, and I want you all home safe and sound before it gets here. Last time we had a storm, the library was flooded from the waves. Do you think this storm is going to make the waves that high again, Miss Carrington? I suppose it's possible. Maybe it'll turn into a hurricane with lots of rain and really strong winds that blow things all around like... like... like that! Oh, my goodness. Nobody does it better. Nobody. Clifford? Emily Elizabeth. Clifford, what are you doing? You can't just dig a hole here. Sorry, but this is not a good place to dig. You interrupted our class. You better go home now, okay, boy? <laughs> go on, Clifford. You too, Cleo. You too, T-Bone. Sky's getting dark. Looks like it's gonna rain. Yeah, I should go home, Clifford. Mrs. Diller hates it when I get wet. I get frizzy, you know. Yeah. Me too. Not the frizzy part. I just should go home. Okay. Thanks for trying to help me bury my bone. Maybe I'll just bury it in my backyard. Great idea, Clifford. We'll see you tomorrow.
this should do the trick, Violet. Our flowers will be well protected from the storm now. <gasps> oh, dear! Of course, nothing can protect him from Clifford. Would you mind doing your digging somewhere else, please? Like on another island. Now, Horace. gonna be a big one. Will the library be okay, Dad? Well, I think if we can get this seawall built in time, everything should be just fine. We'll have to dig up plenty of sand and dirt. We'll need it to make the wall high enough to protect it from the waves. That's an awful lot of digging. Yes, it is. I wish we had a few more diggers to help. Wait a minute. I know the best digger around. I wonder where he is. Okay, Bone. I don't think my digging can bother anyone way out here, so let's start digging. Clifford! Emily Elizabeth. I'm coming, Emily Elizabeth! I told Clifford to stop digging just this morning, Emily. Oh. I told him digging was not a good thing to do. I wouldn't let him dig at school this afternoon. And I told him to go away and dig on another island. Poor Clifford. No wonder he doesn't want to dig. Clifford? I know everyone's been telling you not to dig today. Oh. But we didn't mean for you to think that all digging is bad. In fact, digging is one of your best talents. You're very good at it. Woof. It's just that there's a right time and a right place for you to use your talent. And right now, if you dig here, you'll really be helping us. Go Clifford! Good, knowing the library is safe. We never could have done it without the help of Clifford. He's a very cool dog. Hey, Clifford, did you ever find a place to bury your bone? Oh. Don't worry. I'll get you another bone, a really big one. I'll get you one too, amigo. Me too. You certainly deserve it, Clifford. Get him one too. 
As long as he doesn't bury it in my backyard. Oh, Horace. And I'll help you bury all those bones, Clifford. Someplace absolutely, positively perfect. Just like you. It sure does, T. Thanks. I did the whole thing all by myself. Clifford and I know that it's always important to be thoughtful of other people's feelings and ideas. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is respect. You know what would make it even better, though? A great big flag! No, I think it's great just the way it is. There. Now it needs a big wall. No, it doesn't. Cleo. This is T-Bone's castle. Before you change it, you should find out if he wants you to. I'm sorry. Next time I'll remember to ask first. Sometimes our friends have thoughts and feelings that are different from ours. When we take the time to find out about those differences, it shows how much we care. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is respect. Falling in the fall, they fall far in the fall. The leaves are falling uh, in the fall. Oh, here comes Clifford. Woo! 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 woo. Yeah. No, Clifford, don't. Yeah. Worry about landing in my pile of leaves. <laughs> Dad! Dad! Miss Carrington wrote a play, and our whole class gets to be in it. A play? Terrific, honey. What's it about? It's called Jane and the Beanstalk, and I'm going to try out for the part of Jane. Ruff, ruff. So when is the audition, Emily? Tomorrow. Clifford's going to help me, and I'm going to work really hard and memorize all my lines. <laughs> Good for you, Emily. Well, you two better get started. Ruff, 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 ruff. Thanks for helping me get ready for my audition. Woo, 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 woo! No problem, Emily. It'll be fun. <laughs> okay, Charlie. You'll be the man who sells me the beans. Cleo, you're the goose that lays the golden eggs. 
T-Bone, you're my pet cow. And Clifford, you get to be the mean, nasty giant. Okay, everyone, let's get started. Oh, cow, mother says I must sell you. I shall miss you so. <gasps> it's only pretend, Clifford. And you're supposed to be mean, remember? Ooh, magic beans. I will trade them for your pet cow. Goodbye, old friend. <gasps> Ow! Oh, look! A giant beanstalk has grown in my backyard! I shall climb the beanstalk and seek my fortune. It's the goose that lays the golden eggs. But she is being guarded by that mean, nasty giant. Clifford, mean and nasty. <laughs> I shall save that poor goose from that mean and nasty giant. I must escape down the beanstalk. Safe at last, thanks to my wonderful beanstalk. Woo! Woo -woo -woo. Hooray! <sighs> thanks, everyone. I really feel ready for the audition tomorrow. Oh, la la leaves, la la fall. <sighs> A job well done. <laughs> Oh, how'd the audition go, Emily? It was really fun, but I didn't get the part of Jane. Jetta did. Miss Carrington said she has a natural flair for drama. <laughs> that she does. But I'm going to be Jane's mother, and I get to help build the set. That's super, Emily. Miss Carrington asked if some of the parents could help too, with the sawing and stuff. Well, sawing's my specialty, uh, right after raking. See you later, Dad. I've got to practice. Okay, Clifford, I'm going to be the mother in the play, so you have to play the part of Jane. Whoa! Whoa! Can you act a little smaller? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> hey, that was pretty good. Hello, Emily Elizabeth. Hey, Jetta. Congratulations on getting the part of Jane. Want to practice our lines together? Oh, no thanks. I had to get home for a costume fitting. Oh, have you learned your lines already? <laughs> I haven't. Oh, <laughs> I'll learn them later. First, I had to get my hair done and get some new shoes, but maybe we can practice some other time. Okay, Jetta, anytime. Too kind. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Jetta, what are you doing? Well, when you're the lead in the play, you have to know how to bow, Miss Carrington. So I'm practicing my bowing. Shouldn't you be practicing your lines? After all, there are only two days left till we do the play, Jetta. Oh, don't worry, Miss Carrington. I'll learn my lines in time for the play. I promise. I hope we get this done in time. Like Miss Carrington says, the show must go on. It will, with Clifford's help. That's fast painting! Hi, Jetta. Want to practice our lines now? Oh, no thanks. I'm going to learn them later. First, I have to decide which ribbon to wear on opening night. 
<laughs> well, Clifford's certainly doing his part for the play, isn't he? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, whoa! Calm down, boy. <laughs> whoa! <laughs> Better come up before opening night. Okay, is everyone where they're supposed to wear and wearing what they're supposed to be? Huh? 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 What? Uh, I guess I'm a little nervous. Where's Jane? I mean, Jetta. Oh, cow. Yeah. Oh, cow! Mother says I must sell you. I shall... I, I, I shall... I shall what? Jetta? Yes, Miss Carrington? All ready for the play? Uh, yeah, sure. That's a great costume, Jetta. Are you sure you can climb a beanstalk in that? <gasps> beanstalk? Oh, no! We forgot to build the beanstalk! Oh! Oh, well, I guess we'll have to cancel the show! No way! The show must go on! You can't do Jane and the beanstalk without a beanstalk! We don't have to! Clifford's tail makes a great beanstalk! It's a bit unusual, but why not? Why not? Well, because I'm not climbing some furry red beanstalk tail, that's why not. Jetta, we've all worked very hard to put on this show. I think you can be a little flexible. No, I can't. You can't? Why not? Because I... I didn't practice, and I don't know my lines. Jetta, you promised you would learn your lines. What are we going to do? We have a full audience out there. Well, maybe somebody else knows the lines. Somebody else? Like who? Emily knows the lines, Miss Carrington. You do? Uh-huh. Okay, then. The show will go on. Oh, cow. Mother says I must sell you. I shall miss you so. Oh dear, I never should have traded my pet cow for those magic beans. Oh look, a giant beanstalk has grown in my backyard. I am home safe at last. Thanks to my wonderful beanstalk. I have to admit it, you did a good job, Emily Elizabeth. Thanks, Jetta. Probably should have practiced harder and not relied so much on my good looks and natural talent. You did make a really great cow. But I think the real star of the show was Clifford, the big red beanstalk. <laughs> Story, don't you? <laughs> I thought so. He's your favorite. Today's story is Speckle and the Rainy Day. One day, Speckle went walking in the rain. He walked past Darnell, trying to stay dry. Speckle invited Darnell to join him under his umbrella. Then Speckle saw Luna, and he invited her to join them under the umbrella, too. Oh, 
As they walked by the brook, they spied Ravi and Reba. But there was no more room under Speckle's umbrella. So Speckle invited everyone to climb in, and they all floated downstream in their umbrella boat, happy and laughing together. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? <laughs> Hello! Hi! Good morning, Miss Lee. Hey! What? It's Clifford. <laughs> He's using that tree to scratch a very big itch. <laughs> what other kind of itch would Clifford have? Clifford, maybe you ought to do something about that itch, huh? Look at all this dust and dirt. Where does it all come from, I wonder? Oh, we know where that came from. <laughs> Poor Clifford, he really looks itchy. He sure does. Maybe he should see Dr. Din, the new veterinarian. Huh? Right. If he keeps on scratching, we'll take him to see the vet. Oh, no! The giant seaweed monster has me in his evil clutches! Someone save me! Never fear! Super T-Bone is here! Oh. My hero. <gasps> hey, what's going on? Hiya, Clifford. What's with the itching, big guy? <laughs> it's just sorry I have this itchy patch and I can't stop scratching. <laughs> Emily wants to take me to the veterinarian. I've never been before. <gasps> but it doesn't sound like fun. You know what I heard? I heard that the veterinarian and the groomer are best friends. And you know I don't like the groomer. <sighs> Trust me, you don't want to go to the vet. Well, if Emily doesn't see me scratch, she won't take me to the vet. So all I got to do is stop scratching. Exactly. Or you could just go see the vet. Remember, don't let Emily see you scratch. Hey, Clifford. I was just going to the library. Want to come? Woof, woof. Hiya, Cleo. T-Bone. <laughs> so how's that itching, boy? <laughs> Phew. 
I guess that old itch has stopped bothering you, huh, boy? Mm-hmm. Can't I just scratch a little bit, Cleo? No, Clifford. Emily will be coming out of the library any second now. But I'm so, 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 so itchy. Yeah, Clifford, no! So, Clifford's waiting outside for you, is he? Um, yeah. You know, he seems to have a little itching problem today. Mm-hmm. Clifford, are you itching again? <laughs> Why were you rolling like that? <laughs> You guys were just playing. You're sure you're not itchy? Come on, let's go home. Emily, is Clifford still itching? No, Samuel. I haven't seen him scratch all day. <gasps> That's it. Higher. Higher. Over to the left, Cleo. Cleo? T-Bone? Guys? <sighs> Hang on, Clifford. We're taking a rest. We'll be right there. Hurry, it itches. Just hold on, Clifford. You can do it. <laughs> no, I can't. <gasps> That'll work. Please stop scratching. You're causing a tidal wave. It's time to go to the vet, Clifford. Oh. She's gonna make you feel much better. You'll see. Okay, boy. You'll see. Poor Clifford, down at the vet's office all alone. He's not alone. Emily's with him, and Emily would never let anyone hurt Clifford. It's gonna be okay, boy. Really. Why, this must be Clifford. I... It's okay, Clifford. She's gonna make you feel better. Goodness, you're a big boy, aren't you? I just moved here myself, and I've been looking forward to meeting you. Emily tells me you've been really itchy. I just want to take a quick look. May I? Hmm. He seems to have a rash. Is that bad? Nothing a little cream won't fix. Well, it's gonna take a lot of cream to cover Clifford's back. True, but I think I know how we can do this. What's going on down there? What are they doing to him? Gee, Cleo, maybe they're just stopping his itch. I can't take it anymore. I gotta 
to go see for myself. Okay, bring it in. We'll take care of this once and for all. Oh, that can't be good. What are they doing to Clifford? Okay, that's good. Uh, uh, uh. Well, I think he likes it, Cleo. His tail sure seems happy. Thank you so much for helping, Clifford. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've made a friend for life. <laughs> Dr. Din is a great veterinarian. Aren't you glad we went to see her? Mm -hmm. I know you were kind of scared. I was a little scared the first time I went to the doctor, too. But doctors are there to help us, just like Dr. Din helped you. And I always want to take good care of you, because you're Clifford, my big red dog. know that playing is a lot more fun when we share with our friends. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is sharing. It's mine. Uh, no, it's mine. Oh, it's mine. Uh, mine. I say it's mine. Uh, whoa. Ooh. What's going on, T-Bone? I found this toy first, but Cleo thinks it belongs to her. No way. I found it and it's mine. Maybe instead of fighting over that toy, we can all share mine. Well, okay. Great! Here you go, Cleo. <laughs> Catch, big guy. Oof, oof, oof. This is fun. Yeah! Yeah! When friends share with friends, everyone is happy. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is sharing. 